hey neighbors, it is Thursday. <laughs> kind of want to give you an update on what all happened during the great snowstorm of 2021. Um, as you know, if you saw my previous video, we came in on Friday before everything really set in. I had about an inch of snow on the ground when I hit the home in Tuttle. And temperature was uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of uh, 28 degrees, something like that. And when I uh, pulled in there, I parked the truck so I'd be able to, uh, I bobtailed into the house from where I parked the truck. Uh, and I backed it in so that if it snowed deep, I'd still be able to get out. So um, to make sure that I had everything right, I checked with uh, our fuel supply to find out if they put some anti-gel in the fuel to make sure that we don't gel up because temperatures are supposed to drop down below zero and so uh, they assured me that it was not going to gel up and I'm thinking to myself I'll put a little extra in there so I bought a, a bottle of Howes and I put uh, it in both tanks I have a uh, 120 gallons on one side and 85 gallons on the other and I split it up evenly according to the way it needs to be um, and uh, let the truck idle for uh, about an hour so it would mix everything up and so uh, once we did that we turned the engine off and the APU was working just fine and the heat inside was working just fine and I went in to spend the weekend uh, in the house as temperatures drop, take care of things on the farm, got some cattle I had to feed, keep their water trough full so that they could drink. So it all worked out fine and then Monday came. Sunday night temperature went down to 17 below. <laughs> no kidding. So I come out Monday and I start the truck and it ran for about a uh, 10 minutes, no, about five minutes, and died. And you guys that are tr truck drivers, you know what that means. That means, my friends, you got gelled up fuel filters. So I tipped the hood back and looked at the filter, and this is what the filter looked like. Kind of looks like lemon pie in there, didn't it? <laughs> it was awful. So we call, the boss says to call a service company. So we called the service company to come out there, took both the fuel filters off, put 911 and house in there where you could burn it, started the truck up, and ran for about an hour. Temperature got up to 120, 130 degrees engine temperature, and it died. So I knew that we were gelling on uh, the return line. I mean, it doesn't take much. Make a long story short, after I shook up the house a little bit in the tank and everything like that, the APU continued to run over the weekend uh, and over Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Uh, and so on uh, Wednesday morning, I get up and I found a heating device that I could put underneath the nose of the truck put the heating device underneath the nose of the truck, let it run for about an hour, started the truck, it idled and continued to idle. Temperature is now up to 17 degrees. Instead of 17 below, it's 17 above. So uh, that temperature difference did make a difference. So it idled and, and uh, continued to idle uh, for a couple of hours. So uh, Miss Carol's going with me on this trip. I said, Miss Carol, let's get the truck loaded. And we'll get out of here. We're heading down to Ennis, Texas, where it'll be a little bit warmer. And so uh, here we are in Ennis, Texas. There's my front of my truck. That's my view from the Loves here uh, north of Ennis. And uh, not much of a view, but yeah, that's all right. Now, you're saying, well, why'd you pull in? Why didn't you go unload? Well, I call the destination where I'm supposed to unload, and they're iced in. And the guy says, we can't unload you until Monday. It is Thursday. <laughs> so 
So me and Miss Carol are camped out here at the Loves, north of uh, Ennis, about 20 miles. And this is a pretty busy Loves. Uh, I think it's the closest one to Dallas area. Found us a spot and pulled in nose so nobody will crash into it. And it is iced out here. I'll take I'll show you some pictures. Hey, let me turn this turn this camera around. You can see. Now, see, that's the access road. And it is absolutely covered with snow-packed ice. And as we came in, we get Mike Wazowski out of the way here. Say hi, Mike. Hey. All right. You can see it's all ice covered, snow covered. So being snow covered like it uh, is, I don't want to have anybody slide in the parking lot. The parking lot is absolutely covered with uh, ice and uh, kind of, you know, loves me to, to clear their parking lot because what can happen is somebody can come in there and slide and they'll slide into the nose of your truck. So I nosed in and if anybody slides, they're going to hit the rear end of my trailer and you can move on a, a bumped in, smashed up rear end of your trailer. You can still go where you need to go. You can't do so much if somebody smashes the front end of your truck. So that's what we're doing. We're sitting here, uh, South Dallas, North Ennis, and we'll be here over the weekend. But uh, let me show you some of the conditions that we're in out here. Here's a, here's a few pictures. Okay, so uh, here we are, and uh, you can see that it's pretty much snowed in. Take a look at my load here. Sorry about spinning you. There's my load, and it's on a 53 foot flatbed. Let me show you some of these pictures here. So we're here for the weekend. It is Thursday. We'll be here Friday, Saturday, Sunday. They said they can unload me on Monday. Here comes another one. And he's going real fast. He doesn't need to be going that fast. Let's see if he smashes into something up here. Now we can't see. Well, that guy's stupid. <laughs> That's just all there is to it. Before we go, I wanted to show you something here. I've got this, I'm not a big uh, face mask guy, but I've got this face mask here. And always the big pain in the rear end for a face mask is that, you know, it hooks around your ears and what do you do with it? You just throw it in your pocket or what? You can make a necklace. My granddaughter makes these necklaces. Let me show this to you. My granddaughter made me this necklace. And this is the male version. So it's got tortoise shell and all sorts of different beads and stuff on it. So it looks just kind of crazy Hawaiian. But my wife, she has a nice sweet one there with pearls and red and white and everything on her little mask. And uh, then you hang that around your neck. And when you hang that around your neck, then you can just pop it around hanging on your ears. And then it's always right there around your neck. So you can uh, pop it over your face whenever some person complains. Or if you want to wear one, I don't care. Uh, nevertheless, hey, if you're interested in one of those, uh, let me know. Uh, email me. And you know my email. Here's my email address right down here. It is popsmotherroadfbr at gmail.com. And uh, email me, and I can uh, probably help you out. My granddaughter makes them. And she charges like uh, seven, eight dollars, and then shipping uh, on top of that, you know, probably ten dollars, something like that, on shipping. If you're interested in something handmade like that from a little girl, uh, she is uh, how old is she? Eight. She's ten years old. Got her own little business going.
Those are pretty cool. So email me. Let me know if you want one.